Greetings, content and community agents. I am E from the BHIS TEO, that is the Tailored Engagement Operations, here to walk you through some of the ch recent changes in the Bear Suit Mark II. Now, the Bear Suit Mark II has been modified to allow you to uh, not die in the field. Uh, this technology has been added to your Bear Suit that we are calling the bear spirator or respirator version one in your bear suit is a fan two fans located one in the mouth and one in the nose the nose fan pulls in fresh air while the mouth fan exhales uh, carbon dioxide that might build up inside your mask during engagement operations now this is powered by a 5 volt USB battery backup system. And to prepare it, you will operate the bear head like so, flipping it over. And inside, you will find a blue pouch. That blue pouch receives a battery. This is shipped with your Mark II bear suit. It is fully charged and ready for field work. This particular battery will be fitted inside the blue pouch using the USB connection inside. Placing the USB connection inside of your battery backup and then into the pouch. Once placed in the pouch, you can arrange the cabling using the Velcro on the inside to your liking. This then powers the fans, which will allow you to again not die in the field. Additional modifications have been made to the head to allow for the head to stay full and open. Included in your field kit is a ring. This ring and hoop is pressed into the bear suit its head to hold it open. All that's done is it's pressed inside, opened up, and then this particular ring will keep your head and mask open fully so that you may continue to breathe as so. Now, additional modifications have been made to the suits themselves. Paws are not good for gripping. Built into your new suits, you will find hidden zippers. These zippers can be opened using a pinching motion from inside the fur or with the help of one of the other agents. The zippers may open, your hand may come out, you may do whatever you need to do behind the scenes without removing your suit and giving away a tactical engagement advantage. Keep in mind, this is the red bear suit. The blue bear suit has received the same modifications for field work. Also, the plastic shell from the inside has been removed. You may add a hoop to that, or you may add some other filling if you would like to round that out, but it creates a much more breathable suit for engagement operations. Now, when placing the suit on, the Red Bear, you will place the suit on, get zipped up, place your All I Do Is Steal shirt on, your bandolier holder, and then your helmet. At that point, you are ready for field operations. Oh, unless we forget our feet. Once all these are on, your feet, your helmet, your shirt, the red bear is ready. Now, the blue bear, slightly different. The blue bear, as it goes on, you will put your blue suit on, your feet on, your pants and belt, and your shirt. Now, once you put the shirt on, it comes up to three buttons tucked into the pants and your tie goes on around the entirety of the head, bringing it up to where that third button is, and then your helmet goes on tucked in. Final note, to place the hat with the clear peg on top using the 3D printed parts already mounted to your helmet. Again, these modifications have been made for your safety. Please do not attempt to modify the bear suit in the field unless it is absolutely necessary. In that case, contact BHIS Labs and the Tailored Engagement Operations Division, and we will walk you through field servicing of your bear suit. Good luck on your engagement, and Godspeed.